with the pression, with the wallet. Oh my goodness, this is the one that all been waiting for. Yo. Yeah, I keep saying everybody talk about the boy who cried wolf. <laughs> yeah, they said it was really sad. It's supposed to like make you cry. Is that the one we're doing right now? Yeah. Are oh, we getting in it? This one's in English, or it has the English translation? Um, we'll find out. I mean, the title is in English, so. Yeah, it don't mean nothing, though, with Pablo, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's been meaning a little bit. Like, Don't Care was mainly uh, English. But, but then New Moon looks a different language, but it was all in English, so I don't know. Could be either way. All right, yeah, let's see. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to get to the next song on the Alone album, and it's The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Yes, everybody's been asking for this, so here it is. Here it is. Let's go, Pablo. Yeah, I'm excited to see how he's going to attack this because this is this is a known saying, right? The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Mm -hmm. it's, it's because he, you don't believe somebody, right? When you lie enough times and you keep lying... People, people don't stop, take it serious. Yeah, people stop believing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when something really happens and a wolf really does show up and you you cry wolf, no one's everyone's gonna think you're still lying, right? Uh, so I mean, I'm like, that wolf did target. not do nothing to you. Yeah. Relax. <laughs> There's no wolf. There is no wolf. Yeah. But usually, like, that's what you get for being a you know a consistent liar like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you want the attention, right? Yeah, you know, no one's gonna give you that attention if you're gonna keep doing it, especially if it proves that like you've been lying every single time. Like there was never a wolf. You just mean yeah. saying there's a wolf every time, and when they go out there, nobody sees a wolf. Eventually, people are gonna stop going out there. Exactly. That's why it's best to never complain, unless it's like the worst of the worst, and there's no choice but to complain. But yeah. even if you cannot complain during that as well, would be nice too. You know? Well, just be just being true and consistent. The way that I always explain it is people have a scale for like their relationship with you. And if you're consistent and you don't lie to people and they know like when you say something that you're going to do something, then you're a little bit more believable, right? Like if you told me mm -hmm. something, I can believe it, right? Because you've been like the, the relationship we've had and you built together with consistent with, with, truth, you know, it's consistent, yeah. right? So I'm like, okay, like he's not going to tell me something that's not going to happen. But if you were somebody that tells me stuff all the time and you don't follow through with it, then I'm going to, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt when you tell me things. I'm like, uh, it could happen, but I'm not going to like put my money on it because like there's so many times that you might have like not not fallen through with it. Well, and it's, it, it doesn't take that many times, neither. You lie like once people are already looking at you sideways. So they're always on alert that they're going to get another lie. Now you lie for a second time, usually like at least around my way from my experience with the people I've been around. You lie a second times like we don't believe you. You're already the, the, the kid who cry wolf, you know, yeah. for certain. Twice is too many. <laughs> Let's go. Pablo, the boy who cried wolf. Everybody telling the dwarf is bad. Mm. Ain't nobody telling the dwarf is bad. And because of that, the wolf is going mad. Nobody willing to understand Maybe I should be more like the sheep instead mm. Maybe they will listen if inside up dead Ooh. Maybe all this maybe it's just because I'm scared Cause the truth is ugly and I'm not prepared To face myself and find that I'm The biggest lie of tried to hide Ang kang kumilala sa akin tinig 
love that part y'all that's so beautiful you know he's touching base with so much when you're going through like depression you have like different feelings you know different moments like not not just depression but just like when you're reflecting upon yourself he's touching base with all of it from people saying the wolf is bad to them not knowing that the wolf is actually sad like, should I dress as a sheep? Maybe all these maybes. What? Maybe I should be dead instead. Yo, that was crazy, yo. Like, he was touching so much on the feelings. I couldn't even stop it. And it sounds so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. I What I was getting out of it, too, was like, it's... This is a completely different than, uh, aspect than I thought he was going to take it with the boy who cried wolf. Right? Because mm -hmm. this one seems like this is like the boy who cried wolf because he's scared of the wolf. Right, where mm -hmm. like usually when we think of like the boy who cried wolf, it's because he's lying about That's there saying. being a wolf, right? Yeah. But this one sounds like the the boy who cried wolf is because he's scared that there is a wolf. But he's trying to say like he's saying it from the wolf's perspective of like the wolf is acting this way and being angry all the time is because of how everybody else is treating him, right? He he mm -hmm. feels like like everybody's looking at him like he is bad. So of course, what do you expect? What's gonna it's gonna happen when everybody treats you a certain way? Of course, you're going to be angry and sad all the time, right? But nobody cares that you're sad because you're a wolf, right? Mm -hmm. And it, what it reminded me, what correlated with me was, it reminded me a lot of like Dax's like to be a man, right? Because it's like, this mm -hmm. is something that men go through a lot where they have to be a wolf. And so when, when things go wrong with, in a man's life, people usually just like, you got to, you know, straighten up, like act tough, right? You got to be tough, mm -hmm. right? Because like nobody be cares. Be a wolf. Like, yeah, you yeah. have to be a wolf, right? Because like, even if you want to be a sheep, like people are going to look at you like that's weak. And men mm -hmm. are not supposed to be looked at as weak or or like need a handout. You got to be able to handle stuff on your own. Otherwise, you're not looked at as like a man. And I think that's kind of what I was getting a lot from what he was saying in here. Because it seems like he almost like has to make himself not be a wolf just so people can like actually be able to like want to be around him. Right. Because it's too he's too aggressive. He's too like he's not friendly. People are looking at him like he's bad. Or yeah. so they say. Yeah. Which he shouldn't take in consideration at all what like other people say about yourself. Yeah. because they're not you you know no, 100%. but but you know i i really love like the way he's speaking on all the different emotions you go through like it's not just like one way it's not just the struggle of you know people looking at you in a certain way but it's also like doubting yourself and everything basically when you're going through like the tough times there's different emotions like different times for different emotions you know that you're going through a different uh issues you basically create yourself within you but like all those different emotions he was touching base on all of them those lines were hitting hard bro hard yeah. and it's Real. crazy because like he hit on those emotions but then he even said like it, it seems like people don't even want to hear his emotions they just want him to be a sheep and, and like keep his emotions dead right because he was talking about like if my emotions were dead inside then maybe people would look at me as a sheep because like sheep just, just follow like them follow the yeah. herd right when you're a yeah. sheep you just follow the herd you don't really have emotions you don't really have your own thoughts when you're a sheep right you're just yeah. like following what everybody else is doing all right? the sheeples yeah which i mean i hope he never does do that because obviously this is what makes pablo so great is that he is a wolf and that he, he did stray away from every every all these you know, boxes that everybody kind of put him in right especially being part of a boy group all these kind of things that like people box him into all the time and then you can see just from the album we've been listening to the two different albums that we've been listening to how versatile this guy really is right so and how many different styles you can you can't box this guy in and and you can't box this 19 neither you know no. like that that's the thing about them and their songs even to together collectively as a group and even when they go on solos it's like you can't box them in one genre they multi-genre and and they they give you multiple multiple different like styles you know the style benders yeah this might be one of my favorite songs so far to be honest with you i think this is to me personally because of how hard every line is hitting on this song mm -hmm. and how personal like, and i can hear it in his voice yeah right? this reminds me of like when he did uh the, the one of the songs that we just did the question mark song that is now the uh, walla walla yeah. yeah 
it's very this one sounds very similar to that where it's very personal right and he's like breaking down he's literally like pouring his soul of like how he was feeling of just like feeling like he couldn't be a wolf right because everybody was like treating him a certain way and that he needed to be a sheep even the the chorus part where he's literally like doing this wolf cry when it's just like you know like when a wolf is howling at the moon it sounds like yeah. that but the way that he's doing it it's like synthesized like it sounds like I, it was like so crazy to me like, it doesn't sound uh, like a wolf it, like it sounds like a wolf but it sounds like a sad wolf like when when a wolf yeah. is like lonely you know if it was of... to to howl in a sad way that that would be the sound exactly yeah. but i love that part though like I, oh my goodness he harmonizes yeah. so well i, yeah, I love the hook yeah and the instrumental is like beautiful as well it just fits in so great yeah and the tagalog too when he switches Ooh. from english to tagalog we yeah. didn't even talk about that but that switch up was was fire not not only the switch up the lyrics in tagalog like yeah. translated Whew. yeah just it's as hard as the english yeah yeah just as hard just as hard yeah yeah every line like every line i'm looking at this i'm like man we could break down every single one of these lines because it's like yeah it's, back to this, back right this is like a poet it's like a poetry session that he's having right now like every bar has got so much meaning and so much like underlying stuff that you can apply it to like not just his scenario but to other people's scenarios in different ways that you can take this yes yes it's fire i like it man this is this yeah. is the song the beat is like perfect for like this kind of slower kind of tempo this is perfect man I, I i don't know like this is gonna be hard to beat for, for, for the rest of the song we hear on this album because like to me i think this is like it did, yeah. for me with everything i love about pablo i think like i got it in this song already this is halfway the most right yeah i got the writing the, like the best part of writing that you can get from pablo the emotion side of it that makes him so great the way that he's doing his vocals is amazing too because he's switching from like really sad kind of tones and he even like when he did the cigar and sped it up it sounded more like a flow which was kind of dope and then even the chorus was really like touching because like when he's howling like that like even that just simplicity of that is like fire it's so beautiful man yeah the hook is beautiful yeah doesn't have words in it but like it's it's absolutely beautiful the harmonizing and you know like the this uh this lyric video is going crazy too you see the wolf he's stressed out over here later he's gonna like lay down and just look at the moon why yeah, the there's sheep. a lot going yeah. on in there no too, I, yeah. I like it because like even the pages like when it's flipping like back and forth through the pages and all the kind of stuff that's happening it's like he's telling a story from all these still photos like even when it had the sheep like laying there like d uh, dead when he was talking about it, it had the sheep there like the illustrations like i'm saying like these lyric videos like he needs to retitle these or claim these to be something else because these aren't yeah. these aren't even lyric videos and i yeah. love i love like the, the the creases on the paper too mm, yeah. it just shows the pain and like you know the the struggle and everything you go through on top of everything yeah, when it's crumpled up like that yeah yeah you know you've been through a lot mm -hmm. let's go not ahead, ang aking mga paa na ba'y nanginginig Na malang nagkangkang kumilala sa aking tinig Halos mapatulan ng ako ng litid Kahit pilit ko pang isara Ang mga matay, tumatagas pa rin Aking damdamin at sa may baybayin Umaabaw na
together let's go pablo this that the was one man so, this, this was so one. touching girl. this was so touching it's beautiful i love the tagalog too man I, I love it i love it so much man and i love like the way he uh you know because anybody going through this going through tough times and hard times like this is a beautiful song to like relate to and help you get through it it's like it, it feels like he's with you, you know, like you don't feel alone. And which is why I really like that end part, like that last verse that he has in the song, because I felt like that really closed it up for like all the emotions he was going through, because he like literally says, like, I don't I don't blame any. I can't blame anybody else but myself when he was talking mm -hmm. about, like, even though I'm angry at the world, I can't blame the world because maybe it was fate that I was supposed to be isolated, right? I should have been the sacrifice, uh, sacrificial uh, lamb. lamb, right? And I think I think he's kind of right though because I think he had to have gone through all this for him to make these kind of songs, so he can reach out to all the people that are dealing this with this kind of stuff and have this kind of anthem. Because people, yes. the the biggest thing that people face when they're going through this kind of mental warfare and feeling like they're alone is that. They really do feel like nobody else feels the way they, they do, right? And then you mm -hmm. hear a song like this where somebody literally describes all the feelings you're going through and has it in a song for you and you can hear it. It kind of sounds that. beautiful. Yeah, yeah it, it changes everything, right? Because then it, it changes to be like, well, like, man, Pablo feels this way. And this guy's one of the biggest artists right now. Mm -hmm. If he felt like this, like, I'm not alone no more. There's no way that, like, I, I thought I was, I thought I was the lone wolf and I thought it was just me going through this and I hated the world too. This is a guy that, like, has no reason, like, to people's eyes should have no reason to hate the world because he's got all the success. So people are looking at, like, man, he's got all the success, but he still feels like the world hates him and that all this stuff that he had to go through was for a reason. Maybe there's a reason for it for me too. Maybe they can use that to not, maybe not make music. Maybe music might not be the thing, but they can use a different outlet to maybe help other people going through the same thing they're going through. Right. That's yeah. it's like, it's not only to help them, but it's to help encourage them to do the same thing Pablo's doing. Right. Yeah. So because him Chase being this, this vulnerable. Yeah. Being vulnerable like this and being able to share your story, it's only going to help the next person that's going through the same thing. And hopefully pay it, pay it forward. Right. When you, when you get helped by somebody, it only makes you feel like, man, I know how it felt when I listened to that Pablo song. I want somebody else to feel that. And I hope I could do that for somebody. And you can find that in any kind of, it doesn't have to be a song. You could just be having a conversation with somebody and make somebody feel this way. Yeah. Cause um, in most cases, the struggle makes you either makes you or breaks you, you know, but in, in Pablo's case, obviously it made him. Cause if he didn't go through these struggles, uh, I don't think he would be who he is today. You know, yeah. he persevered through his struggles, but came out even stronger. You know what I mean? Because, you know, uh, the saying that God gives his toughest task for his toughest soldiers. You know what I mean? So, like, I love that saying because, like, it keeps me or, or gives you the toughest battle for his toughest soldiers, you know? And mm -hmm. I love that saying is because it's like it makes you feel like it's all right. Like, I'm going to get through this. And when I come mm -hmm. out on top of this, I will only get stronger. Like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, basically, you know. Yeah. And I, I just, I just love how, like you said, he poured out his emotions. He, he gave you like deep emotions that nobody would share. And then at the very end, just to let you know you're not alone. So like you don't have to just like put your guard down and stop fighting. And you know, like I'm not doing this no more. I'm just, I'm just, I'm done with this. You know, you should never do that. You should continuously, continuously evolve and keep going yeah 
and I believe that because, like, even what you're talking about with giving toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, right? So, but even like, um, I really believe that even like when you are going through something, right? It, it's definitely huge, like the diamond in the rough thing. Like, you know, pressure makes diamonds, right? When you go through a lot of pressure, that's what makes something like amazing, like a diamond. But mm -hmm. also, it goes a lot too, like when you're talking about like even praying, right? Like, because when you pray for something, it's usually you want immediate uh thing that you want to pray for. Like, for example, like if, if you're somebody that is impatient, you just get like very impatient all the time or you don't have patience for people. When you're asking for something, you usually just ask directly for what you want. But instead of that, God doesn't like give you what you want, right? Like if you wanted patience, like and you said, hey, I want, I don't want to be more patient. Instead of him just giving you patience right so then now that you just have a patient mind he puts mm -hmm. stuff in front of you to make you patient for example you might have a kid now right when you have mm -hmm. a kid that automatically makes you patient because now you have to deal with a, a younger being with somebody that might not be all there so you have to be patient with them on their learning curve right yeah. so he gives you scenarios for you to be patient so that's how you learn your patience he doesn't just give you patience he gives you opportunities to become patient same thing like with courage if you wanted courage he's not going to just make you automatically courageous one day and all of a sudden you can just go out there and fight any battle. He's going to give you opportunities where now you have to actually be courageous. If you want to be courageous, you got to go through stuff, tough stuff to be courageous. Right? You just don't get courage one day. You don't just wake up with courage. It's yeah. Courage happens because of things you've had to go through. And I think that's the same thing with him. He had to have gone through all this stuff for him to be where he's at now. For him to be able to share this kind of stuff and get out of it. And so other and have the courage to share it on top of that. Yeah. So for, for certain, fire, man. the process is everything. It's better to have an aim, a destination, and walking towards the destination nice and slow, you know, following the process step by step, than just taking, you know, steps by accident. Like, oh, I'm going left. Oh, I'm going right. Oh, tomorrow I'm going forward. The next day after that, I'm going backwards. You're going to be in the same, like, you're never going to move forward. You know what I mean? So you got to find a destination and then, like, respect the process. And know like what you have to do to go step by step towards that process. One step at a time. One day at a time. One hour at a time. One minute at a time. You know? Yeah. You gotta for have intent. You gotta have intention and you have to be able to learn from stuff. Motivation is for the moment. Determination is forever. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. You already know. Yeah. I think I think <laughs> this this is not even just a, a reaction video now. We just turned this into a podcast. Like yeah. <laughs> we just made, we're dropping so much gems for you guys out there. <laughs> blame pablo <laughs> <laughs> now nah, i'm so this happy for him one. man i'm so happy for him i'm so happy for the sb19 success and i'm so happy that like he dropped like two albums you know you got the wave the struggles beforehand and and you got the later the the, the after effect you know what i mean mm -hmm. when when you go through all the struggles and this it's beautiful to bounce back and forth because there's so much happiness in laon and I don't want to say so much misery in our loan, but it's um it's a lot of it's a lot of pain expressed with motivation on top of that to overcome that. So yeah. shout out to Pablo. Yeah. Always, always gets us deep, 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 deep. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a hard one for me to like for him top, to, top, right? to top this like for me personally. For yeah. me personally, this is like it's got all my favorite sauces of Pablo in one song. I, I I couldn't like if I was trying to critique this, I don't even know what I would say to Pablo to make this better. <laughs> like that's how much no, I no, like no. this song. You I agree I mean? with you. I think on that I one. think I think the recipe that he did for this song was perfect for everything. Like the Tagalog was great. The delivery the vocals were vocally bro. everything. Yeah. The lyrics, like it was so potent with lyrics that like, man, I'm gonna have I'm gonna listen to the song like six more times probably in the next week because I want to hear and break this down even more because I know there's stuff in here that like I could even even relate even more because everything has so much substance in this song. And I, I mean, just so the first much. listen, I really like it so much. So I can only imagine how much I'm going to like this once I really start diving more and more into the song. So we might come in for part two, guys, as you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the it's, afterthoughts it's of uh, the boy who cried wolf. Yo, but you know, I was going to say, man, Pression was fire. I love yeah. Pression. And Pression is on this one as well. So yeah, there's a lot of fire songs in this one. In yeah. this alone, like fire, like deep too, man. So personal, and um, yeah, man. Shout out to Pablo. Man. Shout out to SB19. So happy for you guys. You yeah. guys shout out to 
the ad team too. So for like literally spamming us with this song, and I can see why they were spamming us with it. Like they're like, yeah. you need to get to the boy who cried wolf. You like they saw us doing the album, and they immediately like every comment I kept seeing was like, you guys got to do the boy who cried wolf. Like even if they're they listing make- other songs on here, the boy who cried wolf was like on like ninety percent of everybody's. Even if oh, they're yeah. multiple titles, the boy who cried oh, wolf yeah. was like number one. No question. So no and question. I, and I can see why, and I I think our fans too know our, how we break down stuff now. I think they're really yeah. starting to catch on, so I think they really knew we were gonna dive into how deep. Oh it's yeah, been. yeah. So they they're not wrong. I I sort of knew because of like all of the suggestions, you know. Yeah. I was like, this is probably gonna be deep, you know, because they kept talking about Komonoi too. You know how deep that was, but he performed it, so we still gonna do the song, guys. So, you know, step by step, the process, baby. On to the next one. <laughs> 